Hey everyone, so this is Delon back again to make another how-to video. It's been a while since uh, I made one, but I was recently working on a project with BigQuery and Google Sheets, and I was trying to find a way to do it on YouTube, and I didn't see anything on there. So I was like, all right, well, then I'll make something to help other people learn how to do it. So today we're going to be focusing on a few things. The first thing is I'm going to show you all how to upload a Google Sheet into BigQuery. And then I'm also going to show you how to set up automatic updates so that you can get live updates or essentially like a live export from the Google Sheet into BigQuery. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how to cast that data into Google Data Studio from BigQuery. And you may ask, like, why would I need to upload this data to BigQuery when I can just uh, display it directly from Google Sheets to Google Data Studio? And for more, for, for an example of why that I would recommend doing that is just because it has faster performance and it's more secure. And if you're doing freelance work or working for a small business, or if you're just a growing company, it also is just a better way to go about data maturity because you're, you're going to be growing and essentially having more and more data over time. So it's important that you're storing that data in a secure area and you're also having uh, fast performance when you want to display that data or share that data with others. So just for a like, comparison, if you're pulling like a year's worth of data from Google Sheets, it could take a while to be uh, delivered. But if you're doing it from BigQuery, it would be significantly faster. And I ran a few comparisons. I'm sure you can find some details on the comparisons online. Uh, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get started on that. And also, for those of you who don't know, I do all my videos in one take. And yeah, so if you see any errors or me messing up, there that's from the bottom of my heart because it's all off the top of my head. Because I don't have time to learn how to edit videos when I'm learning how to do all this stuff. So without further ado, let's uh, hop in here. So let me share my screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first make bring this data into a table in BigQuery. And this is this data is just Kevin Durant yearly stats. Kevin Durant's one of my favorite players. Uh, also, I kind of like James Harden too, but that's besides the point. <laughs> you can actually bring this data in. What I'm gonna do is show you how to bring this data into BigQuery. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to BigQuery. Uh, assuming you already have a project created, you would select the project. So for this example, I'm gonna use the YouTube demo testing. And then I'm gonna just click here, the project I selected and create a data set. So you have to create a data set and then you have to create a table and then you can schedule that table to be updated at whatever cadence you would like. So we're gonna name this uh, data set We'll say uh, KD underscore stats data set. And always be sure to use underscores or hyphens instead of uh, spaces. And add a data location, US. And then create data set. So now I have a data set created. The next thing I'm going to do is create a table. So just click the three dots right there, create table. And we're gonna create the table from Google Drive. And then let me grab the URL from Google Drive. And paste that in here. And then the file format is Google Sheet. Select range. So if you wanted to select a particular range, you could do that in here. You would just do it how you would do it in any other Google Sheet, adding in the formula details and saying like D through K or whatever you'd like to do for that particular sheet name. So you have to add the dollar sign in too as well for the sheet name or exclamation point, one of the two, I don't really remember. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is uh, name the table. So we already have the, the project name, YouTube demo testing, and then the data set is Katie Stats data set. And then we're gonna name the table KD stats raw. And then this is an external table type. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna auto detect the schema just because defining the schema is kind of, it's kind of a lot of work sometimes, but uh, I'm manifesting that it just works out well, this video, so I don't have to do all this over again. And uh, we're also gonna skip one header row. So what this means is, we're, we have a header row and we want to skip that and start bringing data in from here. 
And so I'm going to bring this in. And fingers crossed that it works. Let's see. Go to table. Okay. And then we're going to new tab, query this, select star, run. Okay, beautiful. So we see all the data is coming into the table. So that's uh, one part done. The next thing we're going to do is uh, schedule a query. So this is only going to run on our command right now. But what you can do in BigQuery is you can schedule a query to be ran at a certain cadence. So let me move this over here. And uh, also, if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to have to enable the uh, the scheduling query API. It takes like two to three minutes to upload. So it doesn't take too long to do. And it's free. So let me click this query. So name of scheduled query. So we're actually going to name this Katie. We're going to name it real time Katie stats. And always be sure to use intuitive names when you're uh, naming all these different entities for your reporting. It's just a good practice. Uh, and we'll say we'll run this hourly. Start time now and never. Uh, select a destination for the data set. So the data set is going to be the one over here, KD stats data set. And we can just start typing it out and then it'll populate. And then the uh, table ID. And so we're actually going to name this. Uh, we can use the same name. So real time underscore KD underscore stats. And then we're going to make sure we overwrite the table, data location, US. And then we are going to save this. And so now we can take a look at this scheduled, scheduled query and we see it right here. So real time KD stats and it tells us when it's going to run, how often it runs and when it's going to run again. So it's nice little details over here. And then if you want to just get back to this, let me show you, for example. So we have our tables reports over here. But what we can do if we want to see the scheduled queries, we just go over to this menu under analysis, click there. And then if you want to modify a scheduled query, just click right here. And we can select it. And then if you want to delete, disable, schedule backfill, or more, you can do that as well. So let me go back to SQL workspace. And so now what we're going to do, now that we have the scheduled query ran, we have the table in here raw, and then we also have the, the scheduled table in here. We can go to Google Data Studio. And then let's create a new table report. And okay, it's gonna make you uh, determine a data set. So first I'm just gonna to go to BigQuery. You can type in the search bar, just go directly there. YouTube demo testing, KD data set, real time KD stats, add. Add to report. And now we have our data in here. So let's just make this uh, a little bit better. We'll do season as the main. I'll do this as a string. Interesting. So let's do add some metrics in here, stats, let's do average, uh, season, there we go. I'm a little rusty in Google Data Studio. I'm just adding in some other metrics in here, average, uh, here we go. Blocks. 
pupils, et cetera, whatever you want to see. It's going to be added in here. And then also one thing you need to make sure you do too with the data set is uh, view. So that's what it looks like. Obviously, you guys can find some more videos on how to edit Google Data Studio reports if you want to. But uh, also what we can do, edit data source and data refreshness. So I would just change it to the most frequent interval and set that there to make sure it's pulling the data like once it gets pulled from BigQuery to ensure that it's getting the most fresh data in here as well. And that is all. So let me stop sharing. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'll try to be more responsive. I know in the last video, there's a ton of questions. I didn't see it for like a month and a half, but I'm going to be better and be on here more. Uh, so like and subscribe. Isn't that what everybody says? And also you can check me out on Instagram too. Uh, Delon underscore Dixon zero, I believe. Whatever, there's not very many Delons out there, so you can find me if you really want to. But uh, thank you for joining. And I appreciate you watching as always. Thanks.